Hi there. Namaste. A very warm welcome to our yet another Asana 101 session on yoga for digestion. Before we go ahead for the session, let us quickly understand why does it even happen that we suffer from a poor digestion? It happens because of poor lifestyle. And when I talk about lifestyle, there are a couple of things that actually impact our digestion. Number one is food. Number two is sleep. Number three is stress. And number four is lack of body movement. So let's look at them one by one. What can we do for each one of them? The first one is food. It's very simple. You really don't have to go for fancy diet. All you need to focus on is that make a list of all the foods that brings discomfort to your abdominal region, to your stomach. And in most case scenarios, we know about those foods because we have that feeling of acidity, indigestion, heaviness, bloating after eating those kind of foods. So all you need to do is to just push those kind of foods or drinks out of your system out of your diet so that's number one thing second thing is getting a good quality sleep on a daily basis helps you improve your digestion a lot number three stress your mind your brain is completely related to your abdomen so if you are in stress your stomach will be upset if your stomach is upset you will not feel good with your brain and your mind so it's it's a deep connection between your brain and gut so all you need to focus on is that if you feel stressed out, if you feel overwhelmed, all you got to do is to do some pranayam practice, some breathing practices, or do some stretches that helps you calm down your body and mind. This also again helps you improve your digestion. Number four is lack of movement. When there is lack of movement within the body, you are not able to really create a lot of circulation, blood circulation around your abdominal region and stimulate your digestive system, which which actually ends up leading to a poor digestion. And our today's session, with the help of yoga, we'll be focusing majorly on two things. One is stress and one is movement. So with everything that we will do, it'll help you calm down. So that brings a lot of relaxation within the body. Your digestion improves. Second thing is we'll do a lot of movement through the body that will stimulate all the muscles and organs around your abdominal region, which will stimulate at the end your digestive system and will start to improve your digestion. But just one thing, it's not going to happen in this one session. You will have all the tools and equipments that you need in terms of improving it. And all you need to do is to practice this for at least two to three times a week for you to see significant results, significant changes in your digestion. All right, hope you got the idea how you can get the best out of this session. Let us stay in the session till the end because I planned a lot of things. And now let's get started. We'll keep the back straight. You can have your hands in chin mudra, eyes closed. Soft inhale. And soft exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. With each breath, you're able to bring yourself to the present moment. Keep observing the relaxation within the body and mind with each breath. And now let us repeat this affirmation in your mind for three times. My digestive system works perfectly fine. And on that note, bring your palms together and namaste. Let us chant Om Kar for three times. Inhale.
and gently start to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms, bringing your palms to your face, energizing yourself, looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, so let's get started now with the practice. We will start with a Kriya. We are using Kapalabhati as the Kriya. It's wonderful to really invoke the energy in and around your abdominal region and improve your digestion. But in case you already have a pre-existing challenge with your digestive system, acidity, lower back pain, or hypertension, then in that case, you will go ahead with abdominal region breathing. I'll show you abdominal region breathing first. So in abdominal region breathing, you will inhale, you'll expand your abdomen, and then you'll exhale, you'll contract your abdomen. So you'll go ahead with this if you find any of the challenges that I mentioned just now. Otherwise, this is how you will go ahead with Kapalabhati. You'll keep your hands either on the knee, knees placed like this or in mudra. From here, you will suck the belly in with a forceful exhale and relax the belly with a passive inhale like this. So you will find the sound of your exhale, but you'll not find the sound of your inhale because inhale is passive. Exhale is very proactive and forceful. All right, we'll do total three rounds. Each round is going to be one minute. So let's get started now. I'll set the timer and then we'll do it together. All right, let's get started. And now you can relax. You can close your eyes. Observing the changes happening within the body and mind. And now again, we will get started. As you're already aware of the practice, now we can keep the eyes closed and then start. Let's start. And relax. We're done with round two. Again, continue to observe the changes happening within your body and mind with your eyes closed. And now we will go ahead for round three with your eyes closed. Let's start.
and relax. Observing the changes happening. And then slowly bring your palms together in Namaste. Starting to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms. Bringing your palms to your face, energizing yourself, and then looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. Awesome. So this was our Kapalabhati Kriya. Now we will go ahead for warm-up, which will help us to move spine in some directions. The first warm-up is Parshva Sukha Asan. So from here only, you will take your right forearm down to the right, taking your left and up higher, and then you'll come back doing the same thing on the left side. So let's start together now. We'll do a total of five rounds. Inhale while you are at the center. Exhale, right forearm down, your left hand goes up higher. You gently come back, inhale to the center, and then exhale, you go to the left. Gently come back to... Keep moving with me. Three. Four. And last round, five. All right, that was our Parshva Sukha Asan. Let's go ahead for Parivritta Sukha Asan now. From here only, we will go ahead for twist. This is how you will do it. You will inhale first. Then you will take your right hand to the left, left knee. Left hand goes behind with exhale. You will twist. You will come back to the center and doing the same thing on the other side. So let's start it now. Together, inhale. Exhaling, twist. Inhale at the center. Exhaling, twist to the right. Inhaling at the center. Two. Inhale. On the other side. Let's go for three. Exhale to the right. Fourth round. And then we'll go for the last round. All right, so this is also done. Let's go ahead for next asana, which is your Vitala Asana, Marjariya Asana. Let us come onto the tabletop position. Bringing your wrist exactly below the shoulders, knees exactly below the pelvis. Now from here, you will inhale and arch your back like this. Exhaling, rounding your back like this. Let's go ahead for five rounds together. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round your back, look down. Two. Three. Four. Five, perfect, this is done. And now the last warm-up, which we will do just to prepare our back of the legs with the help of downward facing dog pedaling. So all you need to do now is to turn your toes in and with me, come back into the downward facing dog like this. Make sure your knees are bent and one by one, you will press your heels down like this, straightening the legs. All right, so let's get started. Push your hips back, shoulders back nicely. Head in between your arms. One, pressing your heels and continue to breathe in and out. Two, going slow with this. Three, four, last one, five, 
And then you can gently take your knees down only for three breaths. Let us go for Balasana, child's position. Take your hands forward. If your head comes down, you can relax it down. One. Two. Three. And then gently coming back. All right, we're done with the warm up. Let's go ahead now for a sequence which is inspired by Shivananda's style of Surya Namaskar. We'll do variations in that and we'll do it in total three rounds. So let's come to the beginning of your mat now, keeping your feet closer to each other, palms together in Namaste. Let us inhale, starting to raise your hands up higher, push the pelvis forward, engage your glutes and the abdomen, looking up. Hastuttanasana, exhale, knees micro bent and then taking your fingertips down and Pada Hastasana. This was exhale. With inhale, taking your right leg back with me as far as possible. Keeping your knee down, inhale. Gently take your both the palms on your left thigh. And now with exhale, take your right elbow out to the left thigh and then try and form Namaste like this. This is exhale. With the Parshva Konasana, and then slowly take your both the palms down again. Inhale this time, you will move into the plank position, Santulan Asan. Perfect. Now, from here, we will do some core activation. You will inhale first with exhale with me. Try to take your right knee closer to the forehead and then bring it back. Then, slowly, left leg exhale. And then inhale. Now we'll go for Ashtanga Namaskar. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, coming up to Bhujanga Asan. Moving back into Parvat Asan. You can definitely have your knees bent if you want to. Try forming Namaste. This was exhale. Coming back on your both the palms. Inhale. Exhale, take your left leg forward. Resting your palms down as much as the body allow. You can definitely have your knees bent. And then inhale. Slowly going back for Hasta Uttanasan. Exhaling Pranamasan. Wonderful. Another half. From here, inhale, gently bending back. Exhaling, leaning forward down. Inhale, taking your left leg back in Ashwasan Chalanasan. You can have your both palms on your right thigh. Exhale. Paritvitta Parshva Konasana. Going for the twist. And then again, inhale. Take your both palms down. Exhale. Right leg goes back into the Santulan Asana. Again, we'll go ahead for the core activation. Exhale. Right knee touches your forehead. Comes back. Exhale. Left knee touches your forehead. Comes back. You'll go down to Ashtanga Namaskar from there. Inhale. Ujang. Exhale. Parvata. This time, we will take the left leg forward. Coming into Ashwasan Chalanasana once again. Inhale first. And then exhale. Twist. Both the palms in Namaste. And then again, come back. Inhale. Both the palms down. Exhale, right leg goes forward, hands down. Inhale, moving back into Hustle Tanasan. Exhale, Pranam. Let's go ahead for two more rounds exactly the same way. Pranam Asan. Inhale, Hustle Uttanasan. Exhale, Pada Hastasan. Inhale, taking your right leg back. And then exhale. Going for the twist. Gently come back. Inhale. Exhale. Santulanasan. Let's take the right knee. Close to the forehead. Exhale. Inhale. Back. Left. And then gently taking your knees down. Chin and the chest down. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale. Bhujangasan. Exhale. Parvatasan. Taking your... Right leg forward. Exhale. Going for a twist. And then taking your both the palms down. Left leg goes forward. 
taking your both the palms down inhale gently bending back and then exhale pranamasana let's go for the other half once again inhale gently bending back exhale leaning forward down taking your left leg back in ashu sanchalanasana inhale exhale twist and then gently take your both the palms down moving back into santulanasana exhale right knee close to the forehead take it back left close to the forehead taking it back moving down to ashtanga namaskar inhale bhujangasan exhale parvat asan this time you will move your left leg forward right back again inhale exhale twist very slowly take your both the palms down your right leg goes forward pressing your palms down inhale gently bending back exhaling pranam all right let's go for the last round inhale bend back exhale leaning forward down let us take the right leg back as far as possible inhale exhale twist and then gently take your both the palms down moving back into santulanasana inhale exhale right knee to the forehead inhale exhale left knee to the forehead and then inhale exhale ashtanga namaskar inhale bhujangasan exhale parvatasan inhale your right goes forward exhale twist and then gently come back left leg forward padhastasan inhale gently bending back exhaling pranamasan going for another half inhale gently bending back exhale leaning forward down taking your left leg back inhale exhale twist coming back on your palms moving into the santulanasan exhale right knee forward inhale exhale left knee forward inhale going down to ashtanga namaskar inhale bhujangasan exhale parvat asan inhale going for backward bend and then exhale pranamasan awesome so this was our surya namaskar with variations what we did was activating our abdominal region with a twist and with moving the knee closer to the forehead that's how it helps us in terms of improving our digestion as well all right so now we will go ahead for asanas you take a breather meanwhile i'll quickly show the first asana that we will be doing the first asana is malasan for malasan you will keep your legs like this your toes will be slightly to the side legs will be almost shoulder width apart you will take a deep breath inhale and then slowly by pushing your hips back you will gently bring your hips down and you'll form namaste if you want to go slightly deeper you can open the el- open the knee slightly more out and then pull your shoulders back that's how we will do this if you want to scale it down then maybe you can just go for half way if going on full is difficult you can go half way and as much as possible you can keep your hands here or else you can come back up whenever it becomes difficult all right so let's get started take a deep breath inhale together we'll go down now exhale sit down completely and then palms together in namaste open your knees out pull the shoulders back let's hold it for 10 breaths 1 2 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Wonderful, very slowly relax your knees. If you want to take the support, you can take the support or else come up from here only, inhale and relax. All right, you can just shake your legs to release the tension. Wonderful. This is our first asan. Let's look at our second asan, which is going to be Trikon Asan. So for Trikon Asana, in fact, let's do it together. So all I would request you now is to come into this position. Turn your right toe towards right. Make sure you're doing it with me. Turn your left toe diagonal towards your right side. Once the low body is sorted, lift your hands up higher. Now just imagine if somebody is pulling you from the right side, how will you move? So exactly in the lateral line, push your right hand. And then as much as the body allow, you will take your right palm below the right knee. So this is the simplest one. Make sure you're here already. Only if you find it comfortable here, you can go down a little bit more. Try to keep your right palm on the ankle. That's it. Let's hold it here for the next 10 breaths. One. Two. Make sure the left hand is not coming forward. It's in line with the shoulder. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very slowly, we come back up. And now all you need to do is to just turn the toes towards the left side. Left toe will be pointing to the left. Right toe will be diagonal towards your left side. Torso will be facing towards me. Hands up. Now inhale. Again, as if somebody is pulling you this time from the left side, your hip is going back, hand is going forward. Very gently. See if we can take the left palm below the left knee. Now this is the starting point. You can stay here or you can go all the way down to your ankle. Just holding it here for the next 10 breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Very slowly, we come back up and relax. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale it out. Wonderful. Just for once, you can take your legs closer. But again, you need to open the legs. Same way. All right. Now we will go ahead for Parivritta Trikon Asan. Now for this one, you will again take your right toe to the right. So make sure you're taking the right toe now itself. And then left toe will be diagonal. Give it a try if you can get your heels in one line. And this time your torso will be facing towards your right leg. Now we'll do a twist by taking the left palm either on the right foot or outside your right foot. So it'll look like this. You will initiate it from keeping your left palm on the right shin. If this is comfortable, you will go down to the left foot. If this is comfortable, you will place it outside. So whichever works best, go ahead for that. Let's take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, leaning forward down. You can keep it on shin, toe or outside. And then either you take your right hand up higher or place it on your waist, whichever is comfortable, holding it for 10 breaths, one, Either look to the right or up. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very gently, coming back up, inhale. Let us turn on the other side, your left toe towards left. Right toe will be diagonal. Inhale first. Exhale this time, right palm initially on the left shin. If you feel comfortable on toe, and then if you feel comfortable outside your toe, taking your left hand up high as much as you can, holding it there for 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and then slowly coming back. Gently pull yourself up. We'll take a deep breath, inhale there. Exhale it out completely. Awesome. Now bring your legs closer. And now you can slowly come down and sit down comfortably. Perfect. Let's go ahead for our next asana, which will again activate our core. This is Ardha Navasan. For Ardha Navasana, let us turn to the side. And I'll just quickly show you first. So from here, you will try and take the lower back on the ground. Upper and the middle back will be up in the air. So like this, you will go down. And then after that, you will give it a try and lift your legs as much as the body allows. If it is here as well, great. If you lift it up also, great. All right. Only if you have a challenge with your lower back, try and not stay in this for a long time, especially if you start to feel sensation on your lower back. Right. So let's get started. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale it out. And now inhale. Slowly take your lower back behind, lifting your legs. Try and look slightly forward or up. Let's hold it here for 10 breaths. One. Two. Three, feel the vibrations. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very slowly. Come back. All right. That was a core killer. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale it out completely. Wonderful. Let us go ahead for our next asana, which is Uttana Shisho Asana. Let's quickly look at it. This is going to be a backward bend. So you'll come, you'll open the legs almost shoulder width apart, knees exactly below the hips. And from here, all you need to do is to just maintain the hip there only and trying to take the chest and the chin down. If it creates a lot of tension on your neck, just take your hands forward and try to take your forehead down, all right? Do not push your body to keep your chin or chest down. It might lead to pain. How much of the body is allowing you right now? Go ahead for that. All right, let's start together now. Inhale. Exhale, gently starting to walk forward on your hands, hip exactly in line, and then slowly go down, holding it for 10. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very slowly we come back. And now let's do a counter to release the tension from your neck. You press your hands down, 
protract your back, your scapula, try and push them away from each other. And then chin down, staying here for the next five. Round your back nicely. One, two, three, four, and five. Wonderful, just relax yourself. Taking a deep breath, inhale there and exhale, come back, sit in a comfortable position like this. Perfect, let's go ahead now for our next asana, which is Ardha Matsyendra Asana. It's a twist, all right? Taking your right leg out with me, make sure you're doing it with me, there are a lot of steps in this. Right foot out, taking your left foot outside your right hip. Now take your right foot outside your left thigh. Now tendency is to keep lifting the right hip and moving to the left, that's easier. Do not go for the easy, try and go for the right. Keep your hip down as much as you can. And then try to hug your right knee with your left hand, keeping your right knee going towards your left armpit. Your right hand goes back on your fingertips or your palm. Either you will look to the right or you look back. Let us hold it here for the next five breaths. One, two, try and maintain your back as long as you can. Three, four, five. Very slowly we come back. Let us change the side, taking your right foot outside your left hip, keeping the left hip down, and then maintaining your left foot outside your right thigh. Once you're settled here, you will slowly start to hug your left leg with your right hand. Your left hand goes behind, keeping your back as tall as you can, and look back or side. One, Two, three, four, five, and then very slowly we come back. Unfold your legs, just take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale it out completely. Wonderful, let us go ahead now for a prone position, which is Dhanur Asan. Let us lie down flat on your abdomen. From here, we will go ahead and fold the legs together. Now try and grab your ankles with your palms and then gently starting to lift your upper and the lower body as much as the body allows. Keep engaging your abdomen region and the glutes region. When I say engage, it's about tightening that area and continue to breathe through. One, look down slightly forward. Two, three, try and lift your thighs a little bit more. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Very slowly, relax and let go of your legs. Breathing in, breathing out. Gently take your palms by the side. Pull yourself back and let us stretch your legs forward now. I will go ahead for a lying down position. So lay down on your back. We'll take a deep breath, inhale here first. Exhale it out. Box. Now take your feet backward towards your heels. Toes should be pointed forward. Tighten your glutes and starting to lift your pelvis as high as you can. We're getting into Setu Bandhasana. Make sure you're continuously engaging your glutes, your abdomen, 
And if the body allows, you can interlock your palms, pressing it down, or else keep it by the side. Whichever works best, holding it here for the next 10 breaths. Keep lifting the pelvis higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very gently, we will come down. Take a deep breath, inhale there. Exhale it out. Perfect. Now let's move ahead for our next asana, which is Pavan Muktasan. So Pavan Muktasana, all you need to do is to just pull your knees towards you and hugging your legs with your hands, relax. Create a soft and gentle pressure on your abdomen through your thighs and try to keep pressing the lower back into the ground. Let's hold it here for the next 10 breaths. Eyes closed. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very gently, let go of your legs. Just take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale it out. Perfect. And now let us go ahead for the last asan. This is Jathar Parivartan asan. Let us take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale it out. Now from there, lift your legs like this. Your knees will be exactly on top of your hips and knees also will be in line with your ankles horizontally, pulling your toes towards you and press your legs against each other. Now take your hands by the side with me. Make sure you're in this position already. From here, you will take a deep breath, inhale. With exhale, exactly to the right side of your hip, you will allow your both the legs to fall down and then you will look to the left side. Let us breathe in and out here. One. Two. Three. Four, five, gently bringing your legs back, inhale, exhale, taking your both the legs to the left side and when you're looking to the right this time, one, two, Three, four, five. Very gently bring your head back to the center. Legs back at the center. Relax your legs down and then take your palms somewhere on the abdomen, on the torso. Eyes closed. Let us go for three deep inhale and exhale. Prepare your body and mind for pranayam practice.
as you feel comfortable take a turn to the side let us come back and sit in a comfortable position now from here we will go ahead for a pranayam practice for pranayam practice very important thing is to keep your back straight so try and keep your back as straight as possible we're going ahead with two pranayam each pranayam we will be doing for about 2 minutes the first one is nadi shodhan pranayam in the nadi shodhan pranayam initially you will inhale from both the nostrils then you will exhale from both the nostrils you will close your right nostril after that and then inhale from the left then you will close your left exhale from the right inhaling from the right and exhaling from the left this makes it as one round so we'll go ahead like this for total 2 minutes you can go ahead for how many ever rounds you will be having right now in 2 minutes but the goal is to reduce the number of rounds in 2 minutes which means going for longer and deeper inhale and deeper exhale so let's get started for the first couple of counts i will give you the instructions and then after that we'll go into the silent practice let us initiate left hand in chin mudra inhale through both the nostrils exhale now close your right nostril inhale from left close your left exhale right inhale right exhale left eyes closed inhale left exhale right inhale right exhale left now let us go ahead with the silence in the practice Let's keep inhaling and exhaling alternatively. And as you are done with this round, you can relax with your eyes closed, both hands in chin mudra. Find the changes within the body and mind. And as you feel comfortable gently open up your eyes with a beautiful smile all right so that was our nadi shodhan pranayam now we will go ahead with bhramari pranayam for bhramari pranayam again you will have your hands in a chin mudra this is the simplest way of doing this you will keep your lips together teeth internally will be slightly separated then you will go for a deep inhale and with exhale you will make a sound like humming bee so this is the kind of sound you will make and this will go as long as your exhale goes do not try and extend it more than your exhale and do not try to go ahead with a very loud sound let us go ahead with a very calming humming bee sound all right let's go ahead for like next 2 minutes with this eyes closed back straight let us inhale
can stop humming starting to again observe all the changes happening within your body and mind let us continue to keep our eyes closed from here only take a turn to the side we'll go ahead for shavasan stretching your legs forward open shoulder width apart gently lying down on your back taking your hands slightly away from the body loosen up your body completely try not to hold any part of your body right now starting to observe your abdominal region with every inhale your abdomen is rising up With every exhale, your abdomen is falling down. Let us go ahead for nine abdominal region breathing in silence. And now your body and mind are completely relaxed. Gently coming back to the body consciousness, sensitize your toes, your palms. Slowly bringing your legs closer. Interlock your palms and stretch your arms behind in Yashtikasan. And then slowly loosen up, bringing your hands to your belly. Fold your legs, taking a turn to the side. And just stay here for a moment. Gently come back. Sitting in a comfortable position with your back straight, eyes closed. We will settle down all the energies with one omkar followed by three shantis, palms together in Namaste. Inhale. Um, shanti, shanti, shanti. Start rubbing your palms, creating good amount of energy in your palms. Bringing your palms to your face, energizing yourself. Looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, my dear friends, my dear fam. We're done with that today's session on yoga for digestion. How are you feeling? Please let me know in the chat and the comment section. This session can help you significantly if you try and practice this at least two or three times, at least in a week. And that's where you will be able to find the significant changes, significant results. As I have spoken about a couple of more things like food, sleep, and stress, look at that as well because not, it's not only this session that can help you improvise. There are some other lifestyle changes as well that you might have to take. 
and that's what will give you the best results. All right, let me see how you're feeling right now. Let me see who are here right now. Hi, Nirmala. Hi, Shivangi, Nishima. Hi, Kanksha, Nikita. Hello, Astha, Khyati, Jeevan, Nirmala. Glad to know, Nirmala, you're feeling awesome and energetic. Priya is asking how to start your yoga journey. Uh, Priya, is your question regarding how to become a teacher? Because your journey is already going on in terms of yoga. Thanks so much, Kathy, for letting me know. Happy you're feeling energetic. All right, I don't see any other comment right now in chat. Perfect. Nishima is also feeling great. Thanks so much, Nishima, for sh sharing this. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, yes, Priya is asking about being a yoga teacher. I would request Priya if you can drop a Instagram message to me and then I'll help you out understand how can you start your journey as a teacher. Thank you so much, Asta. All right, you are, oh, it's Asta Hospital. Thank you so much, Parul. Thanks for being here. I'm happy that you're feeling awesome. Great. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here in this session. I will see you in my next Asana 101 session on a different topic, Saturday, 7 a.m. IST. See you in the next session. Until then, bye-bye. Namaste. Take care.